Hola. Well, as you can see, I'm on my own today. So AB's a little bit under the weather. She, um, we've been uh, eating and drinking a bit too much, so she wanted to have a salad. And I think her body wasn't used to all the nutrients. She should have stayed on the train with me. Anyway, I'm gonna have a bit of a wander around Aro and show you a little bit of the town. Uh, where we're staying here is actually the old town. So we thought this was the main thing, but it actually is pretty big. Um, the old part's pretty lovely. Centre bit's still very historical and very nice. But the outside bit's very modern, very new. But one thing I did notice is there's tons and tons and tons of empty property, like ridiculous amount of empty property. So I don't know if people inherit it or, or buy it and forget, I don't know why, but there's so much land and so much property. Uh, which is a bit disappointing. Some of them look derelict, but the people still live there. But I'll give you a bit of a tour. So this is Aro. The older part of the town is pretty obvious. You can see. So where we're staying is about, um, about 250 meters from the main square. And the main square is sort of surrounded with little restaurants and bars and stuff like that. Like we said before, tough to get a meal here, which is weird. It's we thought uh, Spain and tapas would be everywhere, but I think I think because you can get it so cheap in the supermarkets that people are reluctant to go out and pay for it. But um, yeah, the restaurants close. Obviously, you have siestas. The restaurants close and they open again. And there's people everywhere in this little town. We got here on Sunday. It was dead with them. Oh God, where are we saying? But Monday it came to life. You can see here, you know, that's a shop for sale. It's for sale. This is abandoned. This one's abandoned. That's for sale. There's a pretty beautiful church. I'll show you when I get a bit closer. That's well, it's not abandoned, but it's closed down for sale. It's the main center of town just here. So it's only been a couple of minute walk, you can see. The building, building a new, well, it's an old department they're renovating, so they're putting a heap of work in over there, which is just down the road. We had a wander past yesterday. It's a lovely little town. It's actually, because where we live in home, we, we're on the outskirts of Perth, and I guess we do have a bit of land and we are away from people. So we do kind of like the country life a little bit more and this sort of suits us, I guess. Like I said, Madrid was a bit of a nightmare for us. Valencia redeemed us for Spain. It was lovely there. But uh, yeah, this is this is a bit more our pace, I think. This one here is for sale. Abandoned. Hola. It's abandoned. But you can buy it. Some dude screaming behind me. I see him like a film it. It's only 12 o'clock, so it's a bit early for a drink. Well, never too early for a drink, let's be honest. Just close down, close down. This is a little town square, it's a beautiful little square. Nah, he's drinking. Never too early for a drink. There he is in red. That's the yellow. Have a wander up to the church. the church up there very pretty 12 o'clock the, the bells are gonna go off a few minutes left
little square down there. Well, the tour groups are in town because summer holidays for everyone. Kids are on school holidays for like three months or two months. So all well, the tour groups are here. This is one of the problems we encountered. So, you can get a meal. I'm not saying you can't eat here, but we are, we're traveling for a long time, we're traveling for a year, and eating out's good and fun, but I do like eating in. Now, this is, these are the two highest rate restaurants, uh, highest rated restaurants here. So there's, you've got Beethoven 1 and Beethoven 2. So, let's have a little look at the menu here. So, cold starter, 20 euros, 15, 16, 17 euros, 13 euros, and, you know, hot starters, same sort of pricing. Uh, your mains, 21, 20, and then your meats, you know, 20, 24, 18. So it's all, you know, it's around that 15 to 25. There goes the, there goes the church. Very nice. So, starter, maybe seafood main you know let's play it's 40 euros with a couple of drinks each that's 80 euros so we've been here for four days now we've had uh, a pizza <laughs> which we made at home we had spaghetti and meatballs which we made at home um, and we've had two platters and we've had wine and beer and i think we have spent just over 30 euros completely the whole all we spent on everything over four days and there's enough food to do today as well so we've got one more one more meal out of that so we are, like I said, traveling a long time, so we don't want to, we could eat out if we want, that's not a problem, but you want to have something that you really, really want and you're really, really looking forward to. If you're just eating for the sake of eating because you want dinner, just eat at home, rent an Airbnb, it's a big apartment you would have seen in the last video. So yeah, no need, get what you want, eat at home. But that's, yeah, that's one of the problems with eating out in Spain. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Mira, mira, hey, hello. Hola. Hey. So over here, that's where uh, we do the winery tours. So they're all bunched together in this area, which is about, like I said, 15 minute walk, uh, about a kilometer from here. And then out, way out, they do all the, um, all the growing, all the vineyard growing. So. They keep all the all the wineries together with all the storage over there, so that's that's really handy. It's a nice walk, and you're sort of starting to get a little bit out of town through there. This is all newer buildings. One thing they do love out here is a mural. This wonderful Spanish mural depicting me in the future if I don't stop eating and drinking the way we are. It's like a harrowing vision of my future. There's heaps of murals around. It's good. No mosaics, unfortunately, but murals are good. This is like the uh, central garden area. This is a bit of the dividing line between the old and the new, I think. There's a massive shopping center over there, a massive supermarket over there. Uh, had a bit of a wander around there yesterday, it's humongous. There's little markets, little shops everywhere, so you can get always get something to eat or drink. There's no dramas with that. You can see the, the differences in the, uh, in the government buildings. You've got this old school one over here. 
it'll be there for another few hundred years and you got this one over here which is uh the it might be an apartment building oh yeah, it's an apartment building not a government building oh, yeah not not the prettiest thing to look at these old buildings are just sensational to look at i'm going to walk right around now to the main street so he get into the town so we got into the town and i'll wander back home check on ab make sure she's all right I got AB a little cake. Hopefully that cheers her up. I don't like when she's not well. It upsets me. Because this is our uh, this is our street. So uh, that's the way back to the, the main highway we come in from when we were coming from Andorra. And uh, this road here, it's super busy during the day and super quiet at night. I was looking for wine glasses yesterday. Couldn't find them anywhere. <laughs> big loop I've done so that's back at our place and our place is here on the first floor it's a comfortable apartment it's really nice a bit loud at night the doors are massive and heavy and when you slam them they just <laughs> apart from that it's pretty good we had an empty house for two nights so it's quiet as a mouse and I don't know, it looks like a circus has moved to next door now that's our place So I call it a call it on this video I think go back in and check on AB but I hope you enjoyed my little excursion around Ara have a look at this this is another abandoned building look weird weird I hope you enjoyed see you next time bye